This is a cheap Chinese chronograph. The idea of a chronograph is you fire a bullet through this infrared beam and that infrared beam and it'll tell you how fast it goes. Now I want to know how good these units are. I want to know how it works and I want to measure and just see exactly how accurate it is. To test the chronograph accurately First you need to connect the sensors directly to an oscilloscope. So to enable this, I took the front off and where the connectors from the sensors go, I made an extra little board. This allows you to connect straight onto the wires from the sensors. To test accuracy, I put a homemade chronograph inside the Chinese chronograph. The distance between the sensors on the Chinese chronograph is 287 millimetres. The distance between the sensors on the homemade chronograph is 200 millimetres. As you can see, when a bullet goes through the beams, it leaves a trace on the oscilloscope with extremely accurate timings. This allows you to calculate the speed. I'm going to show you just how accurate the chronograph is. I'm going to show you how the electronics work and also some tips on how to make the chronograph more efficient. This first spreadsheet shows the displayed speed on the chronograph. It also shows the actual speed of both units recorded on the oscilloscope. The second spreadsheet shows the speed of the bullet leaving the gun and also at 5 metres, 10 metres and 19.2 metres showing how much the pellet slows down with distance. Now for the electronics. Starting with the PCB on top of the metal poles this contains infrared LEDs which form a curtain of infrared light. They are grouped in groups of three with 3.6 volts on each group. The two outer LEDs are green and are just there so you can aim in the correct place. The sensor is made up of infrared photodiodes all in parallel with a 10K resistor to form a voltage divider. The signal from the sensor is only between about 10 and 60 millivolts depending on how bright and sunny it is that makes the signal weaker. There is one main control board. It has an operational amplifier on it to boost the signal, a comparator and a microcontroller. There's also a shift register, which I presume is for the display. Modifications to improve performance. Making a cover to stop extra infrared light getting in makes a big difference to performance. Making a guide to keep extra light out of the sensor slot also helps. Note, don't make any guides out of PLA plastic as that lets infrared light straight through. As you can see, if you get extraneous infrared light, it makes the peaks smaller and it's harder to detect the pellet. Although I am using a tiny air gun pellet. Here are some extra random photos taken on the day. I hope this video has been useful and I hope you've enjoyed it. Take care till next time.